Now, where does the 40 days come from? Let me explain. Allah Almighty creates us in stages. When you were a little cell in the womb of your mother, 40 days later, there was a different stage. Another 40 days later, a different stage. Another 40 days later, the soul was blown. So initially, you are just a clot of blood. Then you're a piece of flesh. Then there's bone, subhanallah, and the organs and everything develops in another stage. Then the soul is blown and then you grow and you are born. 40 day stages. So it is said that that is indicative of the number of days required to break a habit. Solid. That's why if you come for salah with jama'ah, takbiratul ula, which means the beginning of that salah, you make sure you are here five minutes early. You and you have ensured that for 40 days you didn't miss even one, it becomes easier for you. Second nature, I will be at the masjid. I'm going to fulfill the prayer. Today we talk about, let alone the masjid, just fulfilling the five daily prayer. Because there are three things. One is to go to the masjid. The other is at least to fulfill them. And the third is a person who's not even bothered. So at least get to the stage where you are fulfilling the five daily prayers, come what may. But you will have to push yourself. You must. Once you do that, you become more conscious of Allah. Sometimes you have a person, they have a very bad habit, they know it. They are struggling with a habit that they grew old with. And they, are, they fulfill five daily prayers. You won't believe that this person has this bad habit. They won't. They themselves are embarrassed of it, but they keep going back. They keep going back. They keep going back. You know what? You need to be strong enough thereafter to say, I don't want to do it. So what's the next stage? The next level, once your salah is in order, make sure you have good company. People you talk to who remind you of Allah. People in your circle whom you, when you are with them, you actually feel so good and you are not reminded of sliding back into that bad habit of yours. Cut it, chop it, man. Subhanallah. You can do it. You must do it. You will do it. Yes, you are a human. So whenever you've slid back into the habit for some reason, quickly come out, recollect. Promise Allah, I'm not going to do it again. If you fall again, again, come out and promise Allah, you're not going to do it again. When you come out of it 10 times, 20 times, do you know what will happen? The gap between you sliding into that habit becomes bigger, which is a big achievement. It takes around 40 days to build up a habit. And if you want to get rid of some bad habit, try to stay away from it for 40 days and you'll see that it became easy for you and it's not bothering you anymore. The more you are close to good habit, the more you are close to doing good, the friction between your bad will increase. So always try to do good deeds, no matter how small it is, you'll see that slowly but surely you are going away from all the bad habits. Start with praying your five daily salah, then giving salam to people, then giving some little charity, and doing some small acts of kindness and goodness to people then you'll see slowly but surely all your bad habits are going one by one may allah make it easy for us to leave our bad habits which are private and public and may allah make us able to do good deeds as much as possible